country of origin labeling with a twist. I'm one of those who was quite upset when we rolled back country of origin labeling, which finally allowed shoppers to find out where meats and seafood actually came from. And it made a difference, as shoppers were able to choose to avoid certain foods from countries that have less than stellar conditions and food safety issues. Now there's a new twist. Italian Ag Minister Maurizio Martina and Carlo Calenda, the Minister of Economic Development, are working to extend Italy's mandatory origin labeling to processed tomatoes and tomato-based products. This is a big deal. Earlier this year, Italy mandated country of origin labeling for pasta and rice on top of their existing label requirements on dairy. The legislation is to counter competition from imports of tomato puree from China, which increased by almost 50% last year. Just as here in the U.S., there's criticism of the label mandates and how they're in conflict with the European Union's laws. The working farmers in Italy make the strongest point in favor of the legislation, that mandatory origin labeling will stamp out the practice where many foods are marketed and sold as made in Italy that do not even use Italian ingredients and are merely manufactured, packaged, or processed there. Now, if we could just get Italy to mandate this labeling on olive oil.